Hello everyone, my name is Finmer and this is Star Sector, Big Ship Energy. So last time we were in Mayasura hunting pirates and trying to make as much money as we could. And we're just going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off and see what we can find. So over here, okay, this one seems to be being attacked by that. I don't have a relative strength of that citadel yet, so I'm going to try and stay out of that. So, hunting some bloody pirates. We see there seems to be something over there, some sort of contact, so let's see what we can find. And nothing yet. Okay, so wherever they are, they kind of disappeared. So, oh yeah, I think my Asura is cleared out at this point. So, we're going to go ahead and probably end up leaving. Oh no, we're out of supplies. Wow, how did we run out of supplies already? Okay, well, let's... Go over here and buy supplies. Okay, so we can get supplies relatively cheap from him. Wait, oh yeah, right, because, yeah, okay. So we'll get supplies cheaply from them. Let's go over to Mariatha, Mariatha and buy some supplies from them as well. And then we will make our way elsewhere to see to see what we can buy. So supplies here, they're about at cost. Oh, that's a bit higher. But yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Do they have any other phase ships that I can pick up? Does not look like it. I don't know what the next size up of phase ship would look like. Like a Doom, maybe? I think I've seen those before. I'm not sure how much larger they go. Okay, but are there any other bounties we can do? Not really. There are some bounties, like little bases around. The cheaper bounties should be easier to take on. So he's up in terror. Huh. He's near an irradiated world in the binary star system and the terror constellation. Well, luckily there's only there's this. So let's see names. I guess we have to go and there we go. Okay. Our name's not on. Okay. Creation inhabited. Constellations? Oh, there we go. So he's up here. Epsilon Terror. Now is this in the Terror? No. So that means he's to here, basically. Okay, well. We can take our ships out there and see what we can find. Okay, so we'd be able to get to Terror and back no problem with our current fuel. How about supplies? Yeah, I think we'd have no problem getting out there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make our way up to Teodor so we can fight that pirate and see what we can do. Alright, so our fleet of phase ships. Here. Let's go ahead and jump and let's see. We are kind of filled up on everything though, so before we do that. Let's go and sell a bunch of supplies to Calcedon. 
they'll buy a bunch of fuel too for an extreme premium. So, who will buy crew right now? Because we don't need 480 crew. So, Galatia and, and Cyber will buy crew for quite a pretty penny right now. So, let's go ahead and head down to Ensyra in the Galatia system. We can buy what we can sell crew. And then once we've done that, we will make our way to buying marines and maybe some heavy machinery. We don't have transverse jump yet. So actually getting free of something there, ah, will be a bit difficult. So we'll pull a transponder on. I suppose we will continue to, to uh, burn our way over there. And let's make our way here, where we can sell a bunch of crew to them on the black market. So we only need 75 crew, so let's give ourselves 80. It's a nice little chunk of change. And let's see what else we can do. Can we get any more phase ships? Can we get a, a destroyer class phase ship? So we could get these. I, I've not used a gremlin yet. I have no idea how if they're any good. I mean, we can pick one up just to just to mess around with it. So let's see what this gremlin. Uh, it has dedicated missile slots. So the machine gun is good against shields. It's very short range. And as we know, these ships really don't do well with short range. We go with a light mortar. So that does 75 damage. This would do 125 damage. Against armor would do 250 damage. So yeah, I mean we'll we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Even though it's probably a terrible idea. But uh you know, why not? I suppose we can put those Petroplus torpedoes on it as well. Okay, so over here we want hardened subsystems. So that it lasts longer in combat and how fast does it move? That is a question. Nine. So that means it is slowing us down, right? No. Because this would be slowing us down to eight anyway. Oh, it's got the augmented fuel drive, so that's actually ten. So the rest of these are all ten, right? Yeah, so mm, this needs to come up a little bit so it can be on par with everyone else. Well, that's not good. <laughs> so I guess um, well, that's not good. So I mean, it needs to be faster, so it doesn't end up slowing everyone else down. Okay, whatever. It'll probably be fine. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with its flux, this, okay, well that should be fine. Okay, sure, whatever. So we sold all those people. Let's make our way now to shipping. Okay, so we will continue on our way to Naraka now, now that we've sold off a bunch of 
people we don't need. If we were just a little faster, we could have uh, escaped from that, but you know, it is what it is. So, away we go. My Asura has a bounty hunt. So we're gonna go hunt down that one pirate that's out in the terror system. We're gonna, but before that, we are going to really try to fuel up on. We're, we're gonna try and sell a bunch of stuff to Calcedon to pad our wallets a little bit. Then when we come back, we're going to go and try to kill the other ones. Uh, those are the pirates as well. Okay, so let's just drop this stuff so we can get more supplies, more fuel, and as many marines as we can carry. Even at the premium with the tariffs, the marines will sell for more at Calcedon, so we will just pack as many people in, and whatever into our stores as we can and then we'll make our way to Calcedon. So to Calcedon we go. I think Thule is controlled by the Persian by the Persian League. Okay, so off we go. So how are you guys enjoying the playthrough with the phase ships? They do seem to be a bit more entertaining to play, they're more high risk, high reward. So kind of interesting I suppose. Or a bit more interesting than otherwise. Okay, so So we're going to, have to keep our transponder off as we go in so that we don't end up having to fight these people. And we are going to go straight to Casadon. So let's sell off the Marines. Let's sell about all but 50 or so of our supplies. And let's sell off about half of all our fuel. Okay. And like that, we've made a decent chunk of change. So they want that. I think Epiphany also wants this, but no. Okay, that's fine. So what can we do in terms of ships to buy? We have another Gremlin. I mean, I, they're kind of slow. Let's, let's take and see if we have any officers we can get. No. Tough looking woman. Domestic goods. I mean, we can take them. What about the Tufts? So... So 10, that would mean that I'd be paying 390 for each Marine. Oh yeah, we're going to decline that. So, okay, let's go ahead and make our way to hunting down that pirate in the Terra Constellation. Yeah, let's, let's, well, we have other, we have other ones as well. So we have the Persian League, which will probably end up loving us. Let's go there instead, to Gezon. I know we can get some stuff from them pretty cheaply, so let's go see what they have. Because we've got 406 money right now, 406 credits, so we might as, oh, so we might as well go check it out. See what we can find here, please, I don't want to... Oh hey, they want to fight? Let's fight. Let's do this. We're just going to field the gremlin as well, and let's go. So what do we know about the enemy? They have a destroyer, they have 
a mule. So let's go after that destroyer. So let's go ahead and get all get rid of some of this flux and let's go back into it and try to do a bit more damage to him. Seem to be making a little bit of headway on this guy. So we're very easily picking him apart. Ah. And once he's down, he will be far be far less in danger of them. Okay, so he seems to be doing a good job of keeping the enemy at bay. So, let's go ahead and make our way to the other enemies. So the other two are over here with that, and they're dancing with that destroyer. So let's go ahead and make our way over there. I am liking how agile these, these ships are. That I do enjoy. <laughs> yeah, we both shot him at once. Nice. He got he got wrecked. <laughs> All right. So I mean that was pretty nice. So what can we do next? So maximum damage reduced by shields increased. Faster weapon rate. Automated for sure. Hmm. Wait. 
buy shield. So we don't have shield, so it's not that useful to us. Let's see. Mission. Damage reduction budget only. Armor damage taken. Oh, yeah, this one makes it to where this this one with something else will make it so that I so that my ship gets repaired really well at the end of the end of combat. Kazeron. So no one seems to be attacking Kazeron Station right now. Okay, but what can we do here? What can we get on the black market? What can we get on the white market? What can we get as in terms of ships? Okay, we have lots of ships. Um, they don't. We have one afflictor. They have three afflictors. So I'm just assuming that afflictors are their specialty. Okay, so well, let's go and see what we can pick up here. So there, so this is controlled by pirates, which means there will likely be lots of pirates around here. Okay, get a kite. Okay, so most likely the enemy is going to be around either this jump point or that jump point. But there's all these rings as well, so they can sneak their way through those without much without much issue. Let's just go here and check this planet out just in case. Hey, look at him. He doesn't have allies, so that's good. Let's fight him. Okay, just so I can lead this charge a little bit. So we're gonna want to kill one of those buffaloes. So we're gonna go after him. Ah! I just turned right into it, didn't I? Let's go after him instead. He's a little bit more isolated. <laughs> He's really screwed up. <laughs> so now we're out here. Let's vent this flux. And let's make our way back over there. Back onto the attack. He is mostly dead at the moment. So that works for me. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed time back up. Oh no, whatever shall we do? So let's go ahead and keep going after this guy. Let's go up to town because there's fewer missiles over there that are tracking me. Yeah. 
Hey guys, let's do the time stop. <laughs> make our way over here so we can try to vent a bunch of flux. Maybe we'll make our way over here to kill him. So, killed quite a few of them now. Luckily he is making some headway when they're trying to get away. Right, and who else is trying to escape? Oh, him! Well, let's go kill him then. Yeah, that whole lightning thing, it seems to be nice, but I, with at least how I build and how I play, it is more to my benefit to use the entropy drivers, the entropy driver, whatever it is. So we're just going to zoom along, try to entrap him a little bit. Now he has to choose, what's he going to do? Ah, God. And there we have it. Alright, one enemy down. More to go! So we don't want that. We're going to pick through the wreckage, take what we can, and... I mean, we can probably win against those guys as well. If that's what they really want to do, then let's kill them. So, let's deploy everyone. And let's go take care of these guys as well. See, the AI does know how to use those. It's actually kind of interesting. So how many are left? Little fighter down there and then the mule. 
Let's go murder the fighter. Let's go make this living fighter a dead fighter. <clears throat> Yeah, this, these these things are actually kind of fun to play. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, so we don't want some of the metals. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. Okay, and now let's make our way. So we made a nice little bounty. Let's make our way to Kizaron so that we can sell off most of what we found and we know where the pirates are now so that helps us out quite a bit so this one less whole damage taken and a, and a shorter overload duration that works great for us so we don't have shields so this one's kind of useless and this one could be good even if an oncoming fire cannot complete be completely unavoided the pilot often has a choice and just where the damage is taken, which can result in reduced damage impact. Okay. Let's go over here with that, and then we're going to... I mean, that level 3 of this is kind of useless. Level 2 of this could be useful, but why would I not just, you know, phase out and leave? Level 2 and three here is kind of useless because we're not going to be shooting fighters or, or missiles. This one can be nice and this one we, we probably won't be that useful either. So next, so level three here will be good and then we will probably come down here try to do this one as well. Uh, target leading. This 10 percent flux capacity will be enormous and this extra ordinance points, these extra ordinance points will lead, will, re will result in us making a, in a lot more, getting a lot more out of our ships, I think. So let's go ahead and keep going over to Gezeron, where we are going to make a pretty penny. All this stuff. Okay. The first off, let's repair our ships. Second off, let's go and sell everything we aren't going to use. Yeah, we'll learn that one. So we could sell these. Um, I like the seven that lost that trophos at Mayasura, but. Yeah, whichever. We'll just get rid of them. We'll short sell them if that's a short sell. And what can we do? So we have seen that the um, we have seen that the AI will properly use those antimatter guns, so that's good. We are going to want to make sure that we have everything we need. So there's let's see. Oh, we lost that. Um, What's it? We lost the uh, gremlin. I mean, I can't say I'm particularly sad. It was slowing our fleet down, but you know, it's like uh, when someone on your team like pieces out, like they get hurt or something. And you're like, oh man, I'm so sorry to see them go, but in reality, you're just like, thank God. <laughs> kind of what it is. So, you know, as bad as that is. So, we have lots of, we have our our phase frigates here now. How many do we have? One, two, three, 
four, five. So we just need two more phrase face frigates and we would have as many as we could officers. Which means that's where we should probably stop. And the rest could be support ships. So I guess like five carriers or something. The five drovers just to keep the enemy like fighters busy or to keep them down while we go and murder everything. But uh yeah. Now we need to buy more crew, because we need 90 crew to take care of all of this. Which we have to buy at a premium because of course we do. So let's buy them. We don't need this anymore because the gremlin's dead. And let's look at these guys. What can we put on you? Like antimatter. You don't have antimatter. How about lasers? You guys aren't good at using those, but okay, sure. Okay, and over here, autofit lasers. What do they have? Mining laser. Sure. For now. And you. Lasers. There's <laughs> a bunch of mining lasers. Useless. <laughs> but whatever. Let's repair them. Do we need to buy supplies? Let's always try to stick around 100 supplies, so that'll be about 60. Cool. Let's go and keep hunting those pirates. Now, of course, we're back up to full speed, so we can outrun pretty much everyone. So let's go pick more fights with those, those pirates over here. Here we've announced our presence, and there was someone over here who wanted a piece. And it's yeah. no, they're running. Wants to play ring around the rosy. I guess our fleet is too small, as, as they say. Let's just interdict them and then go after them. <laughs> gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. funny if they just so I mean presumably each time they do that they're harming their ships which would be hilarious uh, but huh? oh hey what do you know <laughs> those idiots <laughs> so let's just take command of the action and let's deploy our ships so we can you know see them all in action Let's go hunt down. They don't have any other support ships, do they? Just those. Okay. Well, unfortunately for them. Ouch! I blew myself up! Let's go blow this guy up. I suppose next we will kill the Shrike. So there can be no es there can be no escape. I'm gonna go hunt down that uh, drone tender. I don't want him to escape. 
there can be no escape. Let's go hunt down that drone tender so it can't get away. No! It escaped. There was some escape. <laughs> victory. We don't want any of that, so we'll pick through the records. And our reputation with Persian League has increased ever so slightly. So that's good enough. Let's go ahead and keep looking around, see what we can find. Oh, there's something over here, was there? Maybe not. Alright, what about near this jump point? That seems to be something over near that planet. So maybe there are pirates over there. Catch them, do want to kill them. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh, the bounty is over in Thule, so let's go ahead and make our way to Kazaron then. Because our, we're currently out of supplies, so we're gonna want to get some more of those. Okay. So, let's go to the black market, sell stuff we don't need, then buy all the supplies. Let's repair our fleet. And let's see. After that, <coughs> let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go after those, those that bounty that's out in the middle of nowhere, I suppose. Or we go to Ex Exodus. We can kill more pirates. Let's go up to one of these bounties, though. This one's way out there. Oh, that one's not too bad. 59,000. So what's, what's, what's the screen? She's going to be hiding out near an irradiated world in the Tia star system. Alright then, we'll just tell us right where that is, and let's go out there and try to cut them down. So, to the Tia star system then. Well, we will murderize these pirates. And try to avoid too much trouble. Oh, okay, that's uh... Yeah, we're not going to get involved in that one. That is an extremely one-sided fight. Okay, we're going to try and thread the needle. Basically there. This is Valhalla. <laughs> Valhalla! <laughs> it says Zagan. Um, okay. 
those are probably pirates. So we need to go and look at an irradiated world. There is only one world here, and that is Ogre. So that means they are hiding out near Ogre. So let's go fight them. Catching Miss or Miss Agile here is going to be difficult. Mm. Cool. Let's go kill them. Okay, off we go. So, I'm going to take out that buffalo, because it's likely to be the biggest pain for me. See our engines got hit. Looks like we're hitting everything except for that buffalo. <laughs> Okay, so who is left? Just those guys down there. Well, they're not going to be much of a problem. So let's go ahead and make our way down there and murderize them as well. So if you guys haven't used phase shifts before, they're actually pretty fun to play. I would recommend you try them out. And yeah, give him a shot sometime. I wonder if those abilities of theirs stack. So let's go ahead and do that. So then Nematona, Nematoa, Nematona, it was disabled. That's good. That's probably the mule. No, it isn't. Okay. There's evidently some shit called the Nematona. And he's 
about to get absolutely wrecked. Go. Those pirates eliminated. So we take everything. We're gonna level up to have more combat readiness. We are going to make our way down to Maraca. To Nacheteca. We have 300 supplies, so we're currently trying to. Okay, so, man, this really does blow through supplies when it is, really does blow through supplies. So, to Naraka we go. We can make loads of money. Turn that transponder on so they don't have exception to us. And let's make our way to Nacho Teca. Alright. Alright, so let's fill up all this stuff that we don't need. And let's look at what we have. So, we can take lots of Marines, which Kassadon wants at a premium. We can take lots of supplies and lots of fuel. So even at that price, the fuel is still better. So, next we could take heavy armaments with switch Calcidon nuts. And what about drugs? Calcidon wants, his dr wants drugs as well. Yes. So we'll take all the drugs we can carry. And the drugs are worth more than heavy machinery right now. So we will like just pay to leave this there. So we can go to the black market and get more drugs. Cool. So we have all the drugs we can carry, all the heavy armaments we can carry, all the marines we can currently carry from the open market. Let's go here, and even those marines at, with the tariff will be better. So, let's make our way now to Kelsodon. We were just scanned by them, so we probably shouldn't be scanned again immediately afterwards. Okay, so away we go, taking all the good stuff to these guys. Now I wonder, is the, so this, the amount of fuel you use is strictly proportional to how fast you're going, right? It's, it's not based on speed or anything like that. I, I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. I think that's how it works. Let's go in here, let's leave the transponder off, and let's see what we can get from them. Okay, well we will take these two. We will take procurement, accept that. We will accept this. We'll also accept but we can't accept this one as well, unfortunately. At least not yet. Uh, so we have 40 days complete, but even then it'll be at high. It'll be at a high premium. So next off, let's go with the quartermaster. Deliver those supplies. So we're going to sell these. 
Then we're gonna sell about until we gotta have about a hundred of these. Cool. So now we could like we would like to buy crew. So let's buy lots of crew. And let's go and get our hands on some fuel from Maxios, from Nova Maxios. Do they have any of those? No, N none of what I was looking for. Okay, well, to Nova Maxios we go. Well, we probably don't even need to do that. We can probably just go to Kani and get fuel there. So let's see how that works for us. So the way we go to Connie with our 800,000, they would the board even sell us fuel. Okay. But they will. So supplies at cost. So we will buy supplies at cost. Calcedon once. Once. Drugs again. And they want like 413. So we are good there. Let's go to Clindu. Fendathu and see what we can do there. Lodic Path of Chalcedon, they want 220 units. We will accept. But first, we're going to go to this place over here and see what we can get from them in terms of fuel. If they have harvested organs or not. They do. Well, we'll accept some harvested organs. Mm, yeah, whatever, it's fine. We also want all the fuel they will sell us. Okay, so the also Kelsey also wants a lot of these, so we'll just make another trip. So we're not, you know, burning a whole lot of money getting down to Kelsadon. So down we go to Kelsadon to try and see what we can get. Turn up that transponder. And there we go. And they want fuel. And you want organs. Okay, and like that we just made a great deal of money with very little effort. Okay, so we're almost up to a million credits. So we could potentially get a base going. But I don't want to have to babysit it. Okay, so Calcedon is over here. And nothing that we can that we need to care about. So the nice part about these ships that I have is that because they're very small, they're very fast. So if I go and I get into so I can go and make my way around with, with a lot of smaller ships that will that will make my life very easy. Let's go in here and go see what we can get here. Okay, and what ships do they have available for me to buy? Because I would like you know, two more phase ships. So I could get two more shades. I could get another afflictor. You get a scarab, which, as we know, is sort of like a phase ship, but not. And is actually dangerous literally all by itself because it operates like a phase ship. It operates like a phase ship, but with. but with. Um, with shields. So. It also means it can attack and do things while it is while it is shifted, so to speak. 
So it's seven small energy. Jeez. Two small synergy. I assume synergy is the um, ballistics and energy. Interesting. Um, hmm. Okay, so, okay. Anyway, so this is an illegal ship, I think. It's now upheld by. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I have no reason not to grab one. I mean, we want to, we, we can see what it does. Uh, coral. 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 So. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. So, plugs can use. So, like. Okay, entropy, so temporal shell. Yeah, let's just get one to see what it does. So we'll make that our, so there we go. We have our, we have our last combat frigates. Cool, so that means the rest of my 30 or so ships can be all support, which means they can all be small. So there we go, they can all be fast. So, how fast does this thing go? 10, and your 10 as well. So I like to auto fit this to antimatter, don't have that lasers, to annihilators. Uh, yeah, we're just not gonna do that. How about this? What does this auto fit to? Experimental? Oh, okay, it would have two point defense, some lasers. Okay, so this is, okay, I see. So, let's repair our ships. Let's buy all the supplies they will sell us. And all the fuel they will sell us. And we need, and we don't need any crew, but do they want any crew? Turns out they do. So we will sell down to 150 crew. Okay, so that's done. Let's make our way to Nova Maxos and see what they will, let's make our way to the Katana's den, to the Canton's den, the Canton, the Katana's den and see what we can do there. So, the Kanta's done, I think is what it is. So weapon and engine damage taken, armor reduction calculation only. So whatever we do, we would only Plus, flux capacitors, ordnance, sensor range. I do like this one. Down here, what is good for us? And for us, I mean basically just weapons. So you have lots of ships, so.
let's do this. So hopefully more of our ships will be recoverable in the event. It's uh, losing a ship. So we would like to trade. What are they selling? So Kelsadon would like 221 of those. We don't have room for them. So what can we do here? <laughs> Nothing that I care about really. So what else we got? Uh, nothing, really. And they're currently attacking, right? So I have no idea how well they are doing. So if we consider our military operations, what is this thing? We have we have a bunch of ships that are attacking it. We it seems to be like a full portal station. Um, I'm going to send myself in so I can look. But I'm not going to send anything else in until I know, until I have an idea of how the battle is going to go. Because the air has a habit of attacking things without knowing what they're doing. It doesn't look like it's made any headroom at the moment. So let's see what's going on. How can I harass these guys to help my current allies be successful? Does it have any weapons on it? I, I assume it does. Yeah, it does. It has some Pila on it. So, I'm going to need to... Oh, I didn't see those missiles on me. Oof. So we're going to need to... Like, if we wanted to help destroy the Kanto's den, we'd have to really just dig right into it. And I don't think that's really going to happen, not with the ship that's attacking, not with the fleet that's attacking it. I think it's a bit much. Now that they are closer, maybe, maybe they have a shot. But do I really want to sacrifice my entire crew to do it? Uh, no, I don't. So we're going to take off. We're going to let these guys fight it out. And that'll be all she wrote. So let's leave. There's going to be a lot of them getting destroyed. Alright, so off we go. Leaving them to do their best. And let's get out of here. I mean, I can do a full retreat, I suppose. Okay. 
Sounds good. Let's not assist him. And so go ahead and leave me a like on the video. Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment on the video. Tell me what you think about the game. Tell me what you think about the about the uh, phase fleet. And like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Ring that bell if you do subscribe. Share with your friends. And I will see you guys next time on Star Sector. Big ship energy. Bye.